All right, this is second grade, module seven, lesson 15. And in this lesson, students are gonna be creating their own rulers by iterating a square inch along a strip of paper. And then they're gonna be measuring stuff with it. And so let's get started. So in the concept development, we are given a strip of paper and a square inch. And the idea is we want students to understand how a ruler is made in that we've we've gone, we've already progressed from the point of view where students, you know, take a bunch of square inches and line them up in order to measure something. And of course, I'm not doing all that good of a job. And uh, so we've progressed from that. Now what we are doing is we are going to be iterating a, a single square. So let's delete these. In fact, let's see if I can delete all of them at once. I don't know if it's going to let me. Let's see if I can do that. Will it let me? Woohoo! It did! Nice! All right, so we're going to delete these. And then, uh, so instead of lying, uh, laying a whole bunch of them in a train like that, we're going to just iterate a single square. So we're going to line it up on the edge and we're going to mark roughly. We don't have to be all that perfect, uh, especially for my little video here. We're going to mark it. Now, I have, to, I have to, for technical reasons, have to leave this gap. You don't necessarily want to leave that gap. And we're going to move it over, and we're going to put a little dash, and then we're going to move it over, and we're going to create a little dash. And the idea is we're just going to keep going, until we have gone the entire length of what's going to be our ruler. All right, so we're just going to keep moving it over and over and over. And moving it over and over and over. And we iterate. So I'm pulling it and scooting it and tagging it. And I don't know if this is going to work out perfectly and good. It doesn't, because I don't really want to. It's okay for there to be a little leftover stuff like that. So here's our ruler, and the idea is we want students to recognize, well, where is one? Well, one is that first iteration right there. There's our one, and there's two, and then, then here's three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and then here's eight. Plus, we have a little extra boost, uh, bonus beyond the eight. But the question is, well, where is zero? And the idea is we want students to recognize that zero is right here on that edge. Right there on that edge. So if we were to zoom out, all right, we have now created a ruler. And so now we have an official ruler that we can use to measure anything we want to measure. So here the directions say measure the length of each household object with your ruler and then use your ruler to draw a line to the length of each object in the space provided. So first thing we're supposed to do is we need to measure our, in this case, our dinner fork. So here's my dinner fork. And a ruler was provided. It's on the kind of the back of my homework assignment, so I'm assuming it's the back of your assignment. Uh, so I'm going to just create my little fork and say, okay, there's my fork, and that's that's how it's going to be. We're going to leave, leave that as our fork. And then I'm going to use my ruler, and I need to line up the zero, which is way over here, and I'm going to line that up right along the edge of that fork. And then I can just say, all right, well, now we can sort of measure how long that fork is and say, well, the fork, in my case, is a little bit longer than five. Let's call it a little bit longer than five and a half. All right. So that's what we'll call it. It's a little bit longer than five and a half. Now, uh, this is not to scale, so parents and teachers, my answer might be different from your answer. In fact, it very likely is. Oh, and actually, if you think about it, we're all going to have different forks anyway. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to draw a line that is the same length as the fork. 
We have a couple of choices. One, you can use your ruler, and then we can um, make our line like this, and we can say, well, here, is that my line? Is that about the right length? I don't know. No, I ran into some technical difficulties here. Let's see if I can just do it again. Um, so I'm going to try and draw a straight line. Let's get a thicker ink here. And I'm going to try and draw a straight line that is the same length as the fork. So there I did it. And you can see, well, that's pretty close right there. That's pretty good. Now, another way we could have done it is we could have said, hey, if this is the ruler, and I've already measured the length of the ruler, I mean, I've measured the length of the fork with, with my ruler, and I'll put a little dash right there where it goes. And then what I could do is I could then say, all right, well, uh, there is the dash, and so I can then move my ruler, and then I can draw a ruler uh, mark, a line, that starts at zero and goes straight to the dash. So there's a couple of choices that your students can have. Parents and teachers, either way, it works. Really what we want our students to do is to um, learn how to use that ruler. And in this case, I forgot to say, our ruler, we might say, is about five and a half inches. We're allowed to do that in second grade. Or you would say it's about six inches if we're supposed to round to the nearest inch. It's perfectly fine either answer. And then the last slide for this video is, again, we've got our ruler here. And the idea is I just kind of this is not to scale, so my answer is going to be different from your answer. The point is I want to show you what we want our students to be doing. And we want uh, the students to, up here it says, measure and label the length of each side using your ruler. All right, so we're going to do this, and I'm going to line up. Again, I have to line up that zero right on a vertex or corner of this rectangle. And I'm going to say, hey, look at that. This length right here is appears to be about five inches and then we can have our students measuring down like this or we can have our students measuring up like this it's their choice isn't it and in either case it looks like our ruler is telling us that this length right here is about two inches so uh, we can write that down that this appears to be about five inches and this appears to be about two inches. And really, once, you th once students are empowered with using their ruler and they know how to use their ruler, man, now the whole world is available to them to measure. And they can measure anything they want. And in the, in the course of measuring things that um, they're, you know, that's around them. They're going to be learning vocabulary because you have to use descriptions. You have to use names to talk about what it is you're measuring. And so students aren't saying this thing. Uh, you could say, oh, that's a trapezoid. And, and so it now allows students access to a whole bunch of vocabulary words now. And again, they're going to use their ruler and they can use their ruler to measure a variety of lengths. And if it's not exactly a whole number, have your students estimate. You can either have them estimate to the nearest inch or nearest half inch. I mean, you, you can have our students do that. Saying, hey, it's a little bit bigger than four. It's not as big as five. It's pretty close to four and a half. Let's call it four and a half. And that's a perfectly fine thing to do in second grade. And that wraps up uh, second grade, module seven, lesson 15, students create their own ruler by iterating an, a square inch, and then they started measuring tons of stuff.